All right, I'm back. I have everything out and the stringers are dry. They're in the boat. They're looking great. They are properly secured to the floor. No gaps in the um, plywood. So now I'm gonna take my stringers and fit those in. I got the front stringer here. So basically I just gotta cut the notch a little bit wider on this side and I might be uh, going a little bit deeper. But, um, so I'm just gonna get all those fit first and then I might, I might have to sand the bottom down a little bit. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how it goes. So I'm gonna fit those in and once each stringer is fit properly and cut them to size, make sure they're in there good and snug before I fiberglass them in and then make sure they're also level so when I install the plywood, it's not going up and down. So I'm gonna work on that now. Yeah, and then when those are all fitting in properly, I will put them in permanently. Then I can fit the plywood in after that. Well, actually, before I put the plywood in, I am going to fiberglass uh, the stringers and runners to the floor. And I want to completely seal everything so the wood isn't exposed. If if water ends up getting in the hull, hopefully the wood will be protected. But I'm not expecting this boat to ever leak, so we don't have to really worry about that. Okay, let's get to that, shall we? Take some here. So I'll probably just get this with my jigsaw or uh, I'll figure it out. All right, so that'll fit. There's a, there's a few gaps here and kind of a bigger gap on that side. But I'm gonna fill all that in with uh, fiberglass putty and just really give it a good um, base to secure it to the floor, so. I cut a little, I cut a little notch out in case water gets in the hall. It can drain down, uh, can drain down to the drain hole. The first one's finished. Probably the most difficult one because of the uh, the front of the boat has more of the the uh, the bow sloping, and um, the rest are more flat so the next ones should go a little quicker but uh yeah i'm gonna go on to the next ones get them all fit properly and then hopefully get them installed so
Okay, so I'm here a few days later. I didn't get all the stringers fit properly, so I got three left. I'll work on those now. First three fit nicely. I think the last three will go a little quicker just because there's not so much to sand on the bottom. So let's just get to finishing off these stringers and then uh, see where we're at after that. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna mix up some fiberglass putty and get these stringers installed. So I think this stringer is the only one that has a bit of a weird fit. But what I'm gonna do is probably shim up this side a little bit right here. And then just fill it in with the fiberglass putty that I'm going to make. So I don't want to go, I don't want to keep sanding this one down because it's already pretty, well, it's pretty level with the rest of them. And if I go any further down, then it will kind of have a bit of a dip in the floor. I think it'll be fine. If I can find a shim of some sort, put it under here and then just kind of like really cover it in glue our uh, fiberglass putty. I'm also gonna be fiberglassing everything in, so I think it should be fine. So I'm gonna prepare all the fiberglass, get it all mixed up. I'm gonna mix it a little bit thicker than I did with the runners, especially with the front stringer. I think that if it's a little bit thicker, it won't um, run out. I want it to, I want it to stay in place when I'm, when I have them put in. Um, so let me get that done and let's finally get these things put in properly. All right, so I have all the stringers installed. And once again, I have all the weight on top of the stringers to keep them pressed into the floor. Hopefully that will give it that tight fit to the hull. And when it's completely dry and cured, it will hopefully not have any gaps in between the floor and the stringer. So it's exciting to get that all done. I'm gonna let it all dry. Probably take a full day to let it dry and cure. And then I can plan on getting all of it fiberglass to the hull. That will be a different, that will be an interesting job. 
I'll have to kind of figure out how I'm going to do that. Um, might just have to cut them out in little pieces and fit them individually along each piece. We'll see. Come back when it's dry, probably tomorrow. Get all the weight out and then have, hopefully get a few guys in here, get the top off and continue on with fiberglassing everything into the hole. So I got all the weight out of the boat and it's looking good. So here's uh, how it dried. It's pretty uh, solid, so pretty happy with how it turned out. So there's no gaps really. Everything just seemed to work. Everything seemed to go pretty well. The only gap I can really see is kind of like right here and here. And there's a little bit, there's a little bit here where fiberglass putty kind of drained out, but I might just kind of repack that later. But for the most part, I think, uh, I think everything went pretty well. But all the stringers are the same height from one another which is exactly, exactly what I was hoping for. Happy about that. Yeah, I wanna take the top off before I fiberglass everything in. I also need to build a small box around, basically the, the bilge pump will be sitting in. Um, and I probably will do that before I fiberglass everything, only because uh, I guess it just makes more sense to get that done before I fiberglass everything in. And because the stringers are in the boat now, I think the sides of the boat won't um, flex out as much because the stringers are now holding, holding the hull into the proper form. So getting the top back on will probably be easier later. But we'll see how it goes. So once I start taking the top off, I'll let you guys know. 